time. He laces one end to left, and his first big league hit. Welcome to the show, Saya. He'll get that baseball. On his first swing. We're going to get a standing ovation from a good number of the Cup fans here. Training bigger and stronger since he first came to the big leagues. I don't think of him hitting the ball over the wall. Did not hit a home run last year. His first home run since 2019. An ambush from the bottom of the batting order. A pair of singles, and now this long ball from Nico Horner. This home run replay, breaking pitch up above the knees. Line drive from Horner. Huge swing in the back. How about that? Oh my <laughs> goodness. That's the face of opening day. I can't believe it. It's opening day. And the one two pitch into center. Here comes Bader racing in, and the goal Glover's got it. Harrison Bader with the catch in center. Good job. You see him get a good jump. Pretty standard for him. Just nice play right there all the way around. Bader last year led in outs above average ultimate zone rating and four star catches. He's back 2001 rookie of the year a 10 time all star two gold gloves three MVPs three thousand hits and two world championships in St. Louis. Ladies and gentlemen welcome back to St. Louis in a Cardinals uniform where he belongs. Line to left field, into the corner. Base hit number one, RBI number one, and Bobby Witt Jr. gives the Royals the lead in the bottom of the eighth. Welcome to the big leagues, Bobby Witt Jr. You just got your first big league knock with a stake attached. Crowd liking it here at Coffin Stadium, chanting his name like he's a superstar. Arenado out to deep left at the wall. Gone! Nolan goes deep. Last year he did it on opening day. He does it again in 2022. And the Cardinals are pouring it on here at Bush. Nine nothing and it extends it to Albert Pujols. The 2021 World Series Pinnace. Field extremely deep. Base hit. Carlson should score easily. The 2 2. Up the middle. Hot shot. Off the glove apart. Here comes Carlson. Throw to the plate. 1 0 St. Louis. It's a great job of hitting right there. Goes down and gets a slider and hits it hard. It hits a hit when you hit it that hard, isn't it? Absolutely. They shade him a bit towards right center, but all three outfielders very, very deep. O'Neill out to left. Gone! Opening day. Bomb off the bat of Tyler O'Neill. 4 0 St. Louis. 34 of them a year ago in his first of 2022. A two out. Three run blast. Tyler O'Neill. 
center field's basically backdrop is bright and the inside is dark. O'Neill lifting a fly ball into shallow right, late break. Ooh. The catch is made by Tucker. The throw to the plate is not in time. Tyler O'Neill on opening day has driven in five and adds to the St. Louis lead. Tell you what, that is great, great hustle, and this really does playing the game hard. Just bails Tyler O'Neill out of a set, uh, out of a fly ball out. Dylan Carlson going hard the whole way. Pop taking a chance. Great job, and also picking up your teammate right there. And now Tyler O'Neill, instead of being two for four, is now two for three with another RBI on. Opening day tied at three, bottom seven. Drilled towards center. Kay turns and it's off the top of the wall. Frazier in to score. Contreras coming home. Ian Hep comes through. And the Cubs have a 5 3 lead. Have a day, Ian Hep. Didn't miss getting out by much. You know, the way uh, Kane reacted in center field, I, I thought he thought it was going to fly out of here. Really puts a charge in this one. His second double, third hit of the day. Tiny, you threw the ball well in spring training. We saw what he did, especially in the second half of the season. Last year, that fastball velocity was good when he needed it. Now, Tuve, not an easy guy to strike out. But Shohei does it anyway. Backed him up with a breaking ball. 0 2 to Pena. Got him. Well, that's your welcome to the big league moment right out of the gate in his first big league at bat. 0-2. Even though this wasn't exactly going down the way, that spin upstairs still gets a swing and miss because the two pitches before were solid. Ball and two strikes to Chaz McCormick. Two gone bases empty top of the second. The one-two home. Got him swinging. Three punch outs for Otani through the first two. And we might even hear one of their voices tonight. Got him four straight three straight punch outs. That is for Shohei Otani. 3-2 pitch. Got him again. Four straight and five on the night for Shohei Otani through just two and two-thirds. Would have been a borderline pitch, but you knew he was up there hacking. Late. Shohei. Got him looking. Throw him the heater, Ricky. <laughs> One nothing Astros one out base is empty in the fourth three two home got him swinging seven for Otani tonight. But he's able to do so many things with the baseball to manipulate the speed of those pitches the break of them. He struck out the side. Eight for Otani through four. Seeger song nine tonight for Shohei Otani in the home opener. He's doing the same thing right here against Juan. Here's Soto. Soto right field. See you later. A no doubter to the second deck, and he's one homer from a hundred. One eleven off the bat. You talk about being a ball down and in in the nitro zone for a lefty. My goodness, Juan Soto, explosions off the bat. A guy with power spoiling some good pitches. And he spoils that one with a shot to left center. It's going to hit the wall. Chugging to third is Alonzo. He's not fast. Cut off man hit. The throw. Nice. Oh, it's right on target. And the runner's out at home. What a play right there. Victor Robles on this gets it. That's I'll see have a look bar. here. Escobar going far to his right to try to get around that. Throws it across his body. What a job by Escobar to get around and get his feet set. And it, it, I mean, Alonzo might have got that right hand across the plate, and he stumbled around third base. 
What a pickup by Caber Ruiz and I didn't think it was did you think it was going to be close. No. Well that is bang bang. Yeah. And the thing to keep in mind here. They called him out. It's got to be conclusive to overturn the original out call. So if they can't see anything to change it the inning would be over. And Mark Carlson was in great position to make that call. Question for you. You know how a lot of players either at first base and in this case Pete Alonso right away was going to his ears. Saying to replay it. Would players you like it if they do could do that. it. No no but would you like it. Because for no. me. No it, in the it, modern <laughs> leagues. They're, in the modern leagues they're going to in some of the minor leagues. Yeah. They're going to let players challenge think I don't think that's I love that I you don't know like why it. because uh, you're going to have a lot of guys not doing it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> well yeah that too. <laughs> I'm safe. No you're, you're really not. The runner is out. The New York Mets lose their time. Thank you Mark Carlson. They lose a timeout. Thank you Victor Robles. Thank you Alcides Escobar. And it goes eight six two. And the accuracy of Escobar's throw was remarkable. And now the tie runs 90 feet away. Winning run at second. Seth Beer. Oh. Fly ball. Right field. It's National Beer Day. Good night, everybody. Oh, you couldn't have scripted it any better. Seth Beer wins it on opening night. Wow. I don't believe it. Get that man a beer. You get him a double. <laughs> We told you Seth Beer was going to hit, and boy, did he come up with a big Ooh. one right there.